I became completely enamored with the physical structure. The actual asset itself has tremendous value for organizations. After people on companies' balance statement, it's space and technology are the two huge items. Things will break down if you don't have somebody there maintaining them. You can't have facilities without having someone responsible for it. Someone's going to have to make that thing work. That's a really difficult question. There are many, many definitions of what is facility management. It's a very inconsistent company to company and city to city. And no one seems to have a clear-cut, absolute, like, this is what it is. It's difficult to describe because it touches upon so many different professions. Facility managers are responsible for making the, the whole space work. They will oversee the construction. They will oversee the selection of furniture. They will work with the selection of vendors who will provide services. Mailroom, print shop, reception, conference planning and scheduling. Whatever the company is buying, um, the facility manager has a role to play. You may be doing a construction project. We will work with architects and engineers in order to meet the goals of the organizations we work with. They'll go out uh, with a broker to take a look at space. They'll evaluate it before they start to bring in the senior management. You're part of a team, so if you're getting ready to, to move to a new location and the president says, well, I want it to be all glass and metal, and you say, yeah, we can, we can work with that. However, what do we need to do for the staff who work there and what's, what's the organization all about? I definitely feel that it's customer service. All the employees are my customers. That's what I consider them. A facilities manager is going to interact on a daily basis with every level of person at the institution. You never know what's going to happen in this field. Believe me, there's always surprises. I'm always learning. That's one thing for sure. Every day I learn something new. There's never two days alike because while you're taking care of a physical environment, you're basically serving the people within that physical environment. Anything that can go wrong will at some point in time. These are people who like challenges. These are people who don't want to sit behind a desk and really address how do you sit there and work with a sales force to provide them with an environment where they'll go out and sell more and make the company even more successful. Facilities management per se is to make sure that the people are in place and the resources to make the place conducive to the mission. People needed to know that when their boss wants something, that the little services that we would all take for granted are going to be there. And you become part of such a greater thing. And I think any facilities manager, whether they're working in a law office or they're working where they make widgets, they gotta believe in the product that's being produced. Then you just want them to succeed and you wanna become part of the solution. You may start as a facility planner or a project manager, but then ultimately you will become, if you're good at it, a facility manager, which manages all those people and processes. I think entry level can start maybe at 60 or 70. But if you think about what's, what's the largest building or the largest organization uh, in the area in which you live, and then you're, you're definitely you're up in the, the six figures and, and more. The stepping stone is larger companies, more facilities, more uh, facilities in more countries. Some of our folks in the local New York City chapter of IFMA, they're responsible for hundreds of millions of square feet worldwide. You think of the asset and how much those assets are all worth, billions and billions of dollars. So those individuals with great responsibility comes great salary. For a person uh, who's make, thinking about a career selection in facilities, if they are inherently interested in being helpful, in being part of solutions, if they have a skill at being resourceful, then they're on the right track. A degree in facility management, let's say a master's degree like, like Pratt Institute gives, I think it's helpful to have the education as a basis. An educational experience about each of the disciplines in the facility life cycle. What does it really mean to run an engineering and maintenance operation? What's the process track? What does it mean to design and build buildings? How do you manage billion dollar projects to conclusion? How do you plan? How do you prioritize capital expenditure? Other people coming into the field don't have that kind of background at all and need some 
basic knowledge. If you go to Pratt, you can take courses that will teach you the basics of facilities management. There's a huge amount of information that you need to know about the way your company runs and about all the different professional services that you need to produce what you need to produce. And you have to be a translator between those two worlds. That's a very challenging position to be in, and I think it takes a lot of skill to do it right. 